This centralising system on the pony truck has required some genius designing which you'll see at the end, hopefully, you'll understand what I've done. But we need a bar, like this one, cut to length, I've machined the ends down, you'll see why later. Now, this needs curving, um, I'll do that at my friends because I haven't got any rolls. But before I do that, I need to machine some flats on the very end here. Well, not the very end, but this net the step. I need to put some flats on. I don't have any way of holding that in the vise so I can rotate it. So I'm making some tools. Uh, I started this one and I'm just about to put the first flat on that one. It's just a bit of 50mm bar with a reamed hole, 10 mil that this slides on with the thread in and uh, effectively that slides on I gently nip a bolt in there to hold that I have it set in the jaws and I can move it around so I'm just putting some flats on some uh, Round bar. Fun. Slide it on. And then I'll put that in, I'll put the screws in, and then I'll machine the tops. So I'll keep doing that all the way around until it's finished and then I can machine these bits. Just a nip. And all we do is we just undo the vise, rotate it 90 degrees, up to the stop, clamp it back in, and we're set. That'll do us. There we go. We've got it square at both ends. Hopefully you can see that on the camera. We got a little we got the round bit that we're gonna the 8mm that we're gonna put a thread on. Then we got the square where it's gonna go through a piece of angle iron and that's on both ends. For what we're doing, these should be parallel. I hope. Yeah, for what we're doing, it's good enough, obviously. If we wanted it a bit more precise, then probably a dividing head or 
something like that would be better but unfortunately I don't have one and I can't afford one so this method has worked out quite well on the ends of here we're gonna have some angle iron and uh, here's some I made earlier this M8 hole we're gonna make an M8 square well 8 mil square so using the height gauge which I have set I shall scribe the lines on around the hole so I've got something to file the uh, hole square So you keep filing until we have a square hole and then you keep tweaking it until you get a nice fit. So that's them done. We might have to make some little risers or something for it to go on there but we'll cover that when we get this bent. I'm talking of getting this bent. As if by magic, it'll be done. Just like that. So I went to my friends and used his roller. Uh, it's just left a little edge where it's been squeezed in the in the rolls, just on the top and the bottom there. It needs to be smoothed out. But now I shall tap the ends. Tap? Don't you mean thread with the die? Well that goes on here. Right, so this is going to go on here. Obviously this is not the right way around. This needs to turn upside down. So this is the plate with the pony pivot. And then on the, on the other side the arm comes out, the pony wheel sits there. And then this is going to sit somewhere around here. Right, so I've got it installed. You can just see the bolts here. And I've just placed this back on top. So and it's going to be quite difficult for you to see this. So I'll move that out of the way. So there is the bar with the angle. Hopefully you can see that. So from this plate here over the bar i need to have a fork coming from the center so we'll have to extend it down at the bottom here i don't know if you can see that um so yeah we need a fork that goes over over that 10 mil bar so that's what i'm gonna get on with so rummaging around at the club i found this bit of steel in a in a box this should do for the fork it's um old inch and a half five eights uh that'll do
nice. That's right. Trim it down and uh, get it cut to length. So that's that piece of angle iron that you just saw in the machine. I've uh, taken the corners off just to make it look a bit neater. Uh, so it just needs welding in now, and then that other piece can go there. So I've just turned these little um, brass washers. Uh, you'll see what they're about in a minute. I've done them out of brass because um, I don't want corrosion because they're going to be sliding on this bar. I don't want them to rust onto here. So I've gone for brass. We'll just have to see how they, um, they last.
So I've just stood the pony truck up just so you can see um, the system itself. So we've got the fork here welded to the pony truck. Um, and then the bar that we made at the beginning of the video brackets the two brass washers there that are quickly knocked up uh, yeah so that is the centralizing system it's done I, I've finished it the centralizing system it works hopefully you can see how it operates it's a very simple method the springs I don't know if they're a little bit too tight but I got my advice from a chap called Steve Stockdale uh, who's helping me and he's doing a lot of advice with me as he has one and this is pretty much a version of his system on his locomotive so same springs as he's got and he's got no issues Although it does seem a little, a little tight. Newness, who knows? We'll have to see how the brass washers do. Um, like I said, I didn't want to put steel on steel on steel. Um, and we have a bit of a corrosion issue. Obviously, once it's stripped down, painted and put back together, obviously we're going to cover everything with, with grease in that area. Um, I've got probably a couple of little bits and pieces to do on the pony truck but nothing that needs um, any more filming I don't think I forgot my cup of tea shot in the video if you do enjoy what you see on the channel and you haven't already then please do by all means click the subscribe button down below and the notification bell and you'll be notified when we next release a video and don't forget to click the like button and that will help the video share around to like-minded people with exceedingly good taste like yourself and if you click over here then you may enjoy that video too yeah i think that's quite a good one stay safe ladies oh finish the thing